Good morning, Capricorn men, and happy birthday. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. Gentlemen, what I'd like to do for you today is to just go on and give you my um, 2019 uh, romantic uh, prediction. Basically, and, and basically what I like to do in this reading is just to really see, you know, who would be the, just to kind of figure out the predominant female energy that I'm feeling that's going to be coming um, towards you uh, f pretty much the entire year next year. So it could be more than one um, female, guys. So today, gentlemen, I've decided to go on and use my Patek Lenormand's deck, as we see here, in concert with other cards just to give you a few or s some additional parting advice, okay? Gentlemen, prior to getting your reading, I want to go on and just uh, do a few general observations. And gentlemen, keep in mind, if this reading resonates with you, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe, go on and do so, okay? So let's start with just looking at a few observations here so I can just kind of, you know, tell you or give you a description or just give you some information about the female or females that I kind of see coming towards you if she's not already in your life, okay? She seems to be quite secretive, you know, educated. I'm feeling the sense that she might already be married or committed in some sense or perhaps engaged or perhaps unavailable, okay? And I do feel that you feel as if she's your soulmate. For some of you, she might even be a landlord of some sort, okay? I, I feel that she's very stable, you know, very independent and family-oriented. She seems to be quite communicative, you know? And she looks like her, she looks Petite, I see a, a very petite body. It's someone that's very fit and active. Um, but she seems to be a bit stressed, you know, or I'm feeling maybe she has a, a low self-esteem. And she acts from time to time immature. And her personality might be a bit annoying to you at times, gentlemen. Okay? So, guys, let's want to get started with the card falling to the bottom of the deck here. We have that garden card. And guys, that is all about the crowd and public at wide. And it's ruler is Venus, and it kind of draws our attention to air signs, Libras, Aquarius, and Geminis, as well as Earth, guys. The Caps, you know, just as yourself, Taurus and Virgo. So this card says that she's a party animal, and she might even be a, like a Jezebel-type personality, and she's very popular, I'm feeling. And she really does uh, love the outdoors. And, of course, by loving the outdoors, sometimes it can make you a bit promiscuous. Um, she's very street smart, and I feel that she's, you know, very, very outgoing. And with having that card there, it may be you might have potentially met her um, on a social forum or at a party or at a social gather, some of you, okay? Guys, let's move right along and look at our next card there. We have um, the book card, okay? And gentlemen, this card is all about knowledge, you know, secrets, okay? And it's ruler or rulers, if you will, are Mercury and Saturn. And it draws our attention again back to Earth type signs. Again, just as you are, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So therefore, this says that, uh, God, she's very intelligent and might even be withholding. Usually with this card, she's usually withholding some type of a secret from you or you're going to find out about it you know, at some point, but this card makes her very reserved, and perhaps she might even be in a um, professional career, um, guys, that requires some type of certification or license of some sort. Um, she could, she might even, even be an educator, a researcher, you know, a librarian, or either, guys, with this card, she could even potentially be a teacher, okay? Guys, let's move right along to our next card here. We have that key card, okay? And gentlemen, this card is all about destiny and karmic type relationships. And the rulers of this card, gentlemen, is Uranus and the North Lunar Nodes. So it shows with this card, guys, that you certainly do or you are going to feel a very strong karmic tie to her and feel as if she's your soulmate. Okay? This woman is very arresting, striking. And it draws our attention once again back to Earth type signs. Yes, yes, you are. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. 
And so this female could potentially be a decoder, um, a switchboard operator, or she could be potentially a diagnostician. Okay? Let's move right along, guys, and just uh, uh, take a peek at your next card here. You, I mean, you have... Um, a fairly good card starting out anyway, particularly with this house card there. And, and, and guys, that card is all about safety and domestic affairs, okay? And the ruler of this card, guys, is the moon. And it connects again back to the earth sign and this time also to water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and or Scorpio. So it certainly shows that this woman is solidly built. She's an exotic type woman and she appears very grounded. And as I suggested from the outset, possibly financially secure. But with this card, guys, she is somewhat stubborn at times, but family-oriented. And I'm also seeing a squared type physique with light medium brown hair or either ash blonde. And, you know, potential eye colors, I'm seeing blue, green, or hazel. Okay? And even with this card, she may have a problem with um, extra hair that, that's unwanted. Okay? Guys, let's move right along and um, take a peek at your next card there. We have the, um, you have the bird card, which as I suggested from the outset um, here, this card is quite communicative, you know? And the ruler of this card is Mercury. And guys, this card is all about information, even phone calls or text messages and fake Facebook and all of that stuff. And it connects us to... Um, the fire and earth sign, and of course, the ruler of this card is Mercury. So it certainly shows that she's quite communicative, social, curious. You know, she might even work in sales with this card, um, gentlemen, or have some type of a media related career, or potentially a talk show hostess, or a telephone operator, or even, like, a, as I suggested, a lawyer. But she appears to be very, very nervous. You know, at best, a lot of times, okay? Let's move right along, gentlemen, and just examine your next card here. We have, of course, this card represents her, so we already know who that is. We have that child card there. So, gentlemen, this card is all about innocence and really immaturity. And the ruler of this card is also the moon, and it connects with air signs. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So, she might be a bit immature, guys, and short, Okay, or shorter than most women and kind of naive. And even with this card, gentlemen, um, she is potentially, or she might even look a bit, you know, young looking in some sense. Okay. Moving right along to your next card, gentlemen, we have that rod or the whip card. Okay. And gentlemen, this card is all about, you know, separations, arguments. And what you'll find is that th this card has two rulers. Which is which are Mars and Pluto, and it draws our attention to water and fire type signs. So it shows that she's very attractive, you know, and she turns you on sexually, but she might have a violent temperament from time to time. And God, she might even um, either drink too much or smoke or engage, um, you know, in drugs or substances. I'm feeling, but she's her body appears to be quite athletic and. She's very competitive. But with this card, guys, it brings about a cheating type personality or someone that's, you know, overly, um, tends to be overly aggressive in her approach um, in most cases, okay? Now, moving right along to your next card, gentlemen, we certainly have another um, interesting card here to examine, and that's the mice card, okay, that we have there. And so, gentlemen, this card is all about loss and anxieties of all sorts. And the rulers of this card is Saturn and Uranus. And connects us to fire signs. Leo, Sag, and Aries. Okay? So it shows us this woman might even be a bit overworked, anxious, and she might even be a bit stressed, mean at times, and, you know, maybe suffering from some type of a health issue. And with this card, gentlemen, sometimes it brings about mental challenges or disorders like ADD. In any event, this woman might even be an inspector or she could be an economist of some sort. And I'm feeling, guys, for this that she might even wear a wig or have some type of hair extensions in her hair, okay? Due to possibly um, her hair not growing like she would want it to, okay? 
So gentlemen, this is what I have for you in terms of just looking at those cards here. So now I just wanted to add another dimension um, to your reading, gentlemen. And I selected a card from um, Doreen's Virtues deck, Romance Angels. And this card is telling you pretty much over the, the course of um, the next year, you know, perhaps you might need to, you know, try to flirt a little bit more with others and kind of get yourself out there, you know, because... If it's someone that you're potentially after as well, too, this is suggesting that maybe you might want to flirt a bit more with them or, you know, and also to draw in other people is just telling you to just get over your shyness, perhaps, and just, you know, flirt a little bit more to draw in the love that, you know, that seems to to want to come into you. OK, make more eye contact with people because it helps you connect more. OK. But also, I wanted to also pull a uh, pull another card, and this time I decided to select the card from Colette Barron's Reed deck from the Wisdom of the House of the Night. And it seems too that with this relationship, perhaps, or with this woman or women that or or your romantic situation, you might have seemed to be a bit trapped, you know. And it seems like you might be feeling a sense that you 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 can't do what you really want to do with this person. Okay. But this card is kind of asking you to try to have patience because what you're currently in seems to be of a temporary nature, okay? And the next card you have here is, you know, I decided to, you know, draw another card this time, gentlemen, from uh, another card from Doreen's Virtues deck. And this time, the fair, using the fairy's oracle cards. And Gentlemen, this is dreams coming true. So it's saying despite what you may think about your romantic situations, things are kind of going to work out um, for the best for you. And this is kind of telling you that um, the things that you've really been praying about or the affirmations or visualizations you've been um, kind of um, chanting, they have, they will manifest with a lot of positive things that are going to be coming in towards your realm. Okay? And with this card, once again, just as with these other cards, they're asking you pretty much to kind of keep the faith. You know? And they're going to show you some glimmers of, you know, things kind of actualizing your life so that you can see that your dream is definitely indeed possible. Okay? Now, I also selected another card from um healing with the angels oracle deck using again Doreen's virtues deck in this card is suggesting guys that you know you really need to um kind of balance things in your life you know you know ask yourself have things kind of been going haywire lately in your life and you know this card is kind of telling you that the, you know the angels kind of know that you've been kind of tied down with a lot of things that you've been trying to do but they kind of want to help you with um, trying to balance your life out more, okay? It seems like you might be pulling yourself um, in too many places, okay? And then your next card, guys, I've also chose to use another card from Doreen's Virtues deck, but this time the Magical Unicorns. So this card is saying that you can certainly get the things out of life that you would want, but you need to, you know, try to believe in yourself a bit more because when you really expect success, Success is certainly is going to come towards you, okay? And just continue to have faith. So, guys, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought for you, gentlemen. Gentlemen, I'm also, currently, I also have a promotion, which is scheduled to expire at the end of this month, with readings offering one question for $20, two for $30, three for 40 and four for 50 If you're interested, you can certainly contact me at WAT. 61073 at gmail.com. As always, gentlemen, I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day. Thanks.